Hello Aquarius, Sun and Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, so keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Aquarius and the person Aquarius is connecting with or will be connecting with? Okay, so we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. We do have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. We'll see what that's all about. Here you are. Could be dealing with another Aquarius, possibly. How does Aquarius currently view this relationship? Ooh, very nice Aquarius. We have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Then we have this Ten of Cups here. You're definitely manifesting this for sure with the Ace of Cups. So there's a lot of love here uh, that you have for this person. You do want to manifest this Ten of Cups into fruition along with this Ten of Pentacles into fruition. I like it. You're definitely manifesting a new beginning for yourself. Okay. Wait a minute. How does this person currently view this relationship with Aquarius? You're trying to make something happen. That's for sure. Ooh, we got another magician. Virgo Gemini, the Fool, so Aquarius, also Aries, and then we got the Two of Swords. Now, in reference to this person, they do want to manifest. Uh, they do. And they are following their heart. I will say that. They're willing to take a chance here. However, they're thinking twice about it. They are thinking twice about it. Now, I'm not saying that this person doesn't want to take a leap of faith with you and doesn't want to manifest this Ten of Cups into fruition. Um, you could be dealing with an overthinker. That's always a possibility. Virgos tend to overthink things. So you could be dealing with a Virgo here. But to be quite honest, everybody has the ability to overthink anything, right? Um, <clears throat> how can I explain what this person's going through right now? This is that type of person, um, Aquarius, that has to be certain that everything is going to be fine. Um, and that's this person's problem. <laughs> um, they have the three of swords and the, uh, the two of swords, so the five of swords here. There's a lot of inner conflict going on with them, um, where as much as they may want to take this leap of faith and manifest this with you they're also manifesting you know this inner conflict within them when it comes down to taking the sleep of faith with you all right so a little bit indecisive on what it is that they want to do here it is self-sabotaging in a way um where yes they're self-sabotaging a new beginning with you because they have to stop and they have to overthink things right um and the more they think about it the more it makes them not want to do it makes sense so yes they are kind of self-sabotaging, um, possibly um, a new beginning here because of that. Not saying that, they, that they're, they're going to do it, um, that they're going to self-sabotage this uh, completely. Right now, they're just thinking about it, okay? That's where they're at. How does Aquarius feel about this relationship? Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with an Aries. Got the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're ready to go. You're ready to make a move here, especially with the Queen of Wands. Very determined uh, to get things moving between you and this person here. Again, this is you heading towards your wish fulfillment and what's going to make you happy. Now, I will say we dropped from the, the 10 to the 9 here. It's almost in a sense where it's like, listen, I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for. I know what's going to make me happy. It's either you get on board with me or you don't. Either which way, I'm kind of, I'm, 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 I, I emotionally satisfy myself. So it's like it, either which way, um, I'm good. And that's the attitude that you have towards it. Yes, you do want to manifest the Ten of Cups into fruition with this person here. But you're also, you also have this full understanding of, you know what, if this person chooses not to in the end, then that's fine. I'll just keep moving on uh, with my life here because I'm good on my own. I don't need anybody. Um, and, and that's that attitude that I like. I like it a lot. How does um, this person uh, feel about this relationship with Aquarius? 
Okay. So we have the Six of Swords. Again, Aquarian energy. We got the Ten of Wands here. Sag with the Four of Wands. Aries. They are taking this offer that you are giving to them into consideration. We did speak about that. Um, here's the thing. As much as this person may want to kind of move forward with you, Aquarius, because I do feel like they're taking into consideration this love offer of yours, right? They know that it's going to require a lot of work on their behalf when it comes down to building a foundation with someone, right? They know that it's going to require a lot of work here. I want to look into the Ten of Wands because they do want to move forward here. They do, but then they're also like, yeah, but like... Then I have to put all this energy and effort into building a connection with this person. It's just like, do I really have the energy to do that? Like, that's what they're thinking. Tell me more about the uh, Ten of Wands. Okay. We got the Two of Cups, Page of Cups, and we have Judgment here. So, yeah. Uh, when it comes down to this relationship here, you know, that's that inner battle that I'm talking about within this person here, where it's kind of like they're looking at the pros and the cons here when it comes down to fully committing to someone, right? Yes, every relationship, it does require effort and, and you're going to have to put energy and you're going to have to fight for this connection if you really do want it. Now, I don't mean fight as as far as like competition goes. You know, if you really do want something, you're going to do what you have to do um, to get it, right? If you want it bad enough, you'll do it, you know? And and that's as simple as it gets with this person. If they want it bad enough, they're going to go after it, right? But again, it's like, yes, they do want this connection. They do want to fight for this connection because of the simple fact that there is a lot of love here on this person's behalf. And they want to explore it. They do. And they want to give it a chance here. But they know what they have to do. They know what they have to do. I don't have to tell them. Um, they're gonna have to fight for what it is that they want. If they want it bad enough, I don't. I, I don't see it really being a problem because I kind of feel like you're on board. Um, that's for sure here. I do. Look, there goes that five of swords that I was talking about. So we could be dealing with another Aquarius here. Wait, let me pick this up real quick. If I can just grab it. That'd be great. See, the thing is, is that this person, they want to take action, right? But then they're stopping themselves and they're thinking about, you know, the pros and the cons that come with building a foundation with someone, right? Um, and that's where they're stuck at. That's where they're stuck. And then they're trying to make sense of all of this. They're trying to find that balance on whether or not to pursue this or to just completely leave this connection behind. And that's where this person's at. So they are very indecisive here. They are so more, they, they are um, leaning more towards they want to fight for this connection, but also being aware that they have to put in a lot of work and effort to not only maintain and keep the relationship in itself um, afloat here, but actually show you that they want this because right now they're holding all of this in right like they're, they're keeping all of this to themselves how they feel about you what it is that they want with you um and right now they're just in a state of resisting it at this point and it's just simply about embracing how you feel about aquarius just do it embracing how you feel right and actually fighting for it and pursuing it but a part of this person is just like but it's like, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to. It's going to require so much work. And then I have to be open. And then I have to tell Aquarius how I feel. And I don't know if I'm ready to do that either. Um, it's just like this person's constantly complaining left and right to themselves. Like, they're not complaining at you or anything like Or nagging you or anything like that. No, I'm not getting that. It's just more so like a, Ugh, now I have to be open with my emotions. And I have to tell Aquarius how I feel. And now I'm going to have to put on all of this work and energy to show them how I feel. And, you know, all of these things, you know, all of these excuses. It's a bunch of excuses. Ah, this person, gotta love them, gotta love them. Either which way, you're good. It's like either we're gonna do this or we're not gonna do this. Either way, I'm fine. What actions will Aquarius take towards this person or moving forward? Very nice. Okay, so we have Judd. Wait a minute. 
Okay, so we have judgment here, Knight of Swords, and then we have the Ace of Wands. What actions will this person take towards Aquarius and moving forward? Yeah, so this person's in a state of overthinking things with that Seven of Wands energy um, and the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. This person's just in a state of overthinking things. They're still fighting it. They're still resisting um, on taking action uh, and doing what they need to do in order to keep this relationship in itself afloat here. Um, so it kind of looks like this person is choosing to kind of shut down here. Um, they're losing to the thoughts in their own mind at this point, right? Because remember, like, remember that I was like saying, like, this person, they keep finding all of these excuses as to why they can't, like, too much work, too much effort. Then I have to be open with my emotions. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to take a out on a date. I have to do this. You know, all of these things, all of these things that they, they do want, right? They do want and they're, they're resisting it and they're fighting against it, which is starting to become a, a burden for this person and it's starting to drain this person energetically because they're resisting it. They're going against what it is that their heart wants them to do and that's what they're being faced with. But at this point, this person's losing to the thoughts in their own mind where they're allowing um, their head to be flooded with so much negativity. And when it comes down to a connection, I mean, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, but they're making it bigger than what it actually is. And there's no need for that. Um, and your person's going to basically kind of overthink this situation. They're going to kind of pull away and shut down and keep their distance until they figure out what it is that they want to do here. Um, until they get very clear on what it is that they want to do with the hangman here, whether or not to honestly walk away from this connection or come together with you and honestly um, work on this connection with you. Now, it's very interesting on your behalf um, where... For some of you, it's not good. it's not going to resonate for all of you, but for some of you, I am seeing that. If we're just talking about this person, um, it does look like you want to give this person, you know, this relationship, I'm sorry, a chance, and it does look like you want to take action because you have a lot of desire for it. That's as that's it. That's as far as it goes. Now, for others of you, it does look like someone's going to come in out of the woodworks here. Um, it does look like you're receiving some sort of passionate. Uh, offer here from someone and I don't feel like it's from this person here it does look like you're going to choose to kind of act on it and entertain this new offer that's heading in your direction here it is self-sabotaging um you may feel a sense of regret and remorse uh after you do it um but it looks like you're going to take action and it looks like you're going to go for it because of the simple fact that you feel neglected in this relationship with this person here. You do. You, you already feel like the relationship is kind of falling apart anyways. And this is why you're choosing to kind of act on it and just go for it. Um, but again, I do feel like you want this connection. I do with this person. You feel a very strong spiritual connection to them. Um, but again... I am getting two different storylines where some of you, there is someone new heading in your direction here. It could be somebody that you're familiar with, someone from your past maybe returning to your life here. It, it could be, I don't feel like it's this person though. I really don't. This person's just in their own head about the situation um, and it kind of looks like you're going to act on it. Um, it does. It does. It does look like you're gonna act on it. I think that you're gonna think about it twice, that's for sure. Um, because you're still you're still thinking about this relationship with this person. So for some of you, you may not act on it, but for others of you, I do see you acting on it. Do I feel like it's going to lead to anything promising? No. It's like a spur of the moment type of thing. It's like a like I said, just a spur of, you know, just I don't feel like this person's gonna stick around. I just kind of feel like this person's like coming in out of the woodworks like hey Aquarius remember me or like hey you want to go out it, it could be something as simple as that um and like I said for some of you you'll act on it for others of you you just simply won't but I do see some of you doing it all right any advice for Aquarius in regards to this person's not doing what they they need to kind of I'm not saying I'm not trying to justify you know your actions here um but what i will say is that this person needs to kind of get out of their head because they are self-sabotaging something good you know i feel like you're all for it i do i feel like you're all for it um there's a lot of passion that you have for this this person a lot of love that you have for this person and you're willing to 
give this relationship a chance and you're willing to take action. It's almost in a sense where you're waiting for this person to kind of give you the green light. And for some of you, that's as far as it goes, right? Um, forget that I even said this, right? But for others of you, I am noticing that where someone else is going to try to come in. Um, and it looks like you may take this person up on their offer here. A part of you just kind of like, a part of you, if that is the case, a part, some of you are going to be like, you're going to just reject this offer here because you don't, you're thinking, you're still thinking about this connection and how it's not getting off the ground the way that you would want it to. Um, and for some of you, you just don't want to make matters worse here, right? Um, by entertaining someone new. And for others of you, you may act on it and you may later on regret it for whatever reason. Like you may feel bad that you, or you may feel guilty. Any advice for Aquarius? Okay, we have pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you, along with reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. Like I said, it could be somebody that you're familiar with. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, as far as this person is concerned, it's hard to say whether or not they're going to come back together with you and make this relationship work. Until they get out of their head about this whole situation, we'll never know, you know? But that's where we're at right now. This person is just stuck. And they're still not even opening up to you emotionally. They're still kind of keeping a lot close to the chest here. Um, and they're very, very guarded. So you could be dealing with somebody who has uh, trust issues. That's also a possibility here too. It is, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, all right? Hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.